Good afternoon, Pokemon trainers. It is a literal dark and stormy night. It'd be great if I had a rumble of thunder right there, but it's dark, it's raining, and it's thundering and lightning and all that, so I thought we should do something spooky. It's not yet spooky season, but we're, uh, we're getting there. And I thought, um, let's do something cool, like open up some trick-or-trade Halloween-themed Pokemon cards. I have been looking everywhere for these, and I finally found them. So here I am in my garage because I don't have much of a recording studio as of yet. Uh, that hopefully will be changing here very soon. But yeah, we're going to be filming out here in my garage because it's the only bright place that I can film. And that's that's pretty sad. So the sounds are probably going to be really bad. But we're going to open up every one of these cards and see if we can complete the entire set. From what I'm hearing, it seems like it's not going to be that difficult. But I'm also hearing that some people are not getting all the cards that they want. So we're going to find out. And, uh, yeah. And also, if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, I know it's not as big and flashy as some of the other YouTubers or PokeTubers, but, uh, if you guys are enjoying this, then by all means, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more Pokemon content. I know the channel is very barren right now. It's very brand new, but we've got a lot of amazing things coming up here soon. We're getting ready to work on the Halloween Village. Uh, we're getting ready to do more Pokemon card openings. And then we are, of course, going to be doing a lot of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet when that comes out. I'm going to be taking two days off work in order to film that, technically three, because it'll be a Sunday. So I'll be having three days to film all of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Well, not all of it, but I'm going to film as much as I can. And we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So without further ado, maybe I should stop a yapping and get to unwrapping. I like that. Oh, and uh, before we even begin, I am also going to be doing a pack opening of all of these here. Um, we've got, let's see what we what all we've got here. We've got Sword and Shield, Astral Radiance. Oh no, don't drop. We've got Sword and Shield Fusion Strike. So we've got five of these, five of these. So 10 whole packs to open up. I think those all showed up pretty well so we're gonna be doing that in a separate video but today tonight whatever we're just gonna focus on these so let's stop pat a yapping and get to unwrapping of course you guys get the absolute most obnoxious sound in the world chirping crickets and uh boy i do have a messy work surface here so <sighs> Everything is so dead gum messy. Anyway, here we go with our not clean work surface. Let's do a little bit of adjust me. Oh no, uh, try not to fall over here. And go ahead, <laughs> let's unlock our packs. So I have to say, this is probably the best thing ever. Booster bundle. I'm very excited for this. Now, I almost debated picking up a bunch of these in order to uh, give them out to trick-or-treaters this year. However, well, it, that's just not how that's gonna be working out. I, I have discovered that uh, just getting one of these packs was extremely difficult, and I don't wanna deal with that again. So, we've got a total of 40, count them, 40 of these to open, and we're gonna go through every single one of them. Oh, this could be, oh no. This could be a decently long video. In fact, actually, I like how that happened. Everything just kind of flared out like it did. There are three cards per pack. So without further ado, let us open the first card pack of this set. You know what? Maybe the crickets aren't too awful bad. Maybe it gives off, like, spooky ambience, you know, because it's nighttime. And a rumble of thunder, well, that automatically told me what we got. A rumble of thunder would have been great. So... The one thing about these guys that I absolutely love, one of my favorites is Phantom. They all have this little pumpkin stamp here in the bottom corner, which is really cute. But even the holographic ones, such as this Mimikyu here, will have a holographic pumpkin as well. And I have to say, these are absolutely fantastic. So we've already gotten our first holographic, and I believe there is a holographic in each pack. So that way you are not completely... Do you mind, Cricket? My gosh! Each card pack has its own holographic. So, 
we will just slip that back in there. Actually, no. We will just lay that right on top. I don't even know where he's at. I can't even tell him to shut up for real. Like, oh, excuse me. So we'll open up our next one. I'm trying to remember here. We'll probably have, okay, so. It looks like our holographics are all going to be on the ins or right on the inside. So we've got this Trevenant. I absolutely love this Trevenant. And another Dust Skull. We actually got a, a double. And our Pikachu, which I've seen these at McDonald's too. These are really cool, but really beautiful Trevenant there. All right. So it looks like our holographic will be here. We want to focus on that side then. So let's go ahead and open up. Our card pack here get it in there come on i need to learn the trick of pokemon card opening so we've got ourselves an ariados a ghastly and it's a mewtwo okay that is absolutely amazing life sucker and cyburn i feel like this should be more of a yveltal card but gosh that is awesome the oh that mewtwo is terrifying I would never expect to find a Halloween-themed Mewtwo. All right. So far, we're doing pretty good, in my opinion. So, let's go ahead and open up our next one here. Okay. And get it open, but not spoil it for myself. So, get that to the back. Flip. Oh, okay. That's cool. Now, one thing I have to say is I've always loved pokemon cards that are realistic and you get these like little craft made pokemon i think that is honestly really cute i really love those designs so we've got ourselves a zubat another ghastly and gengar now that gengar looks awesome i actually just watched an animated short uh called i turned into a gengar the other night or last night and it was really cool i really enjoyed that it was really cute and it was it was just really enjoyable to watch children uh, make ghost stories up of their schools. This is something we did in my school growing up, which was make up scary stories about certain hallways or certain teachers. Um, until I realized it was kind of dark watching the... Oh no, what happened there? Well, luckily, it's not one of the good ones, I don't think. But another area dose a Dusclops, and a Chandelure. Looks like it's that Dusclops that got really damaged there on that corner. Uh, but the Chandelure looks like it is in good condition. Gosh, I can't get over these holographics. They look so good. All right. I hope I didn't. Oh, it's another Mimikyu. We've got our first double. Ooh, a Hatter. Hatterim. Hatterim. Is, is, it's Hatrim. Hatrim. Oh, my goodness. And a Sinistee. I don't know why I'm sitting there twirling like that. And then there's that Mimikyu once again. I think any of these extras that I get, I may try and see if I can sell them online. See if anybody would be interested in buying these. Hopefully we don't get any more damage cards though. That would be a bummer. I don't want to have a bunch of damage product. That shiny or that holographic to the back. Another cute Zubat. Ooh, a Nicket. Rear kick, I really do enjoy that. That is a really good looking Nicket. And then Miss Magius. Now that is a eerie looking card. He looks like he's creeping around a corner. I like that. I don't know, I'm just gonna do the one card. But I have debated selling whatever I get double wise. So far, I think there's only 10. Oh, well, I really need to make sure I'm careful with how I open these. Another one, uh, a Hatena and a Poltegeist. Interesting. And then we got that beautiful Gengar again. Last gift and Pain Burst. I wish Pokemon moves were the same as the card names. All right. Let's get that opened up. Get that. I do want to take a second to admire these card packs, how they have them designed. They look great. I think I saw what it was, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll find out here. Let's move it to the back. A Spinarak, a Ms. Drevious, and another Ms. Maggie's. Now, how is it that we get both evolutions one after another? That is eerie, I guess you could say. Okay, so we are quite a few in. 
Okay, there we go. Glue that to the back. A Phantom, a Duskull, and a Gorgeist. Ooh, an actual Jack-O-Lantern Pokemon. Pandemonium. That is interesting. I do love that design. I'm trying to bust these out as quick as possible here. I don't want to make this a 30 minute long video. That would not be good. I'm sure some of you would enjoy it though. Move to the back. Lampant. Another Nicket. And a Darkrai. Oh my gosh. Now that is cool. It can lull people to sleep and make them dream. It is active during nights of a new moon. That is so cool. I did not know that there was a dark eye in the set. I'm very happy with that. Very content with that. Let's do a quick cleanup here. I'm getting cards all mixed up. But, ah, a dark eye. Very scary Pokemon. Ooh, I wish they all opened that way. That would have been great. Move you to the back. A Litwick. Another Pulte guys, a shaking camera. And another awesome Trevenant. I think we may be getting to max out our our actual set here. I thought my Pikachu card was damaged there just for a split second. Of course, I probably shouldn't be laying these on a rusty paint can, but can you get any more ghetto? Don't answer that. Nobody answered that. Okay, so Laura, we are. I don't even think we're halfway through the set yet. I'm kind of expecting to just Give the rest of these out on Trick or Treat Night if I can make it that long. Let's go ahead and get kind of creepy. I'm just out here filming in the middle of the night. Oh no. With my uh, garage door wide open, it's raining and there's, there was a rumble of thunder, but I have not heard any more thunder since. I was in there watching uh, Kitchen Nightmares Cubone! Gotta get a Cubone in there. He's the best Halloween baby. Sinistee and another Mewtwo. That is cool. I'm not sure if these are all worth anything individual. I highly doubt it, but I think they're cool to have. I'll definitely sell. If I can get a full set, I will definitely get the full set in there. I don't know what we just got. I saw, thought I saw it, but I think I could be wrong. Let's see here. Another Pikachu. I think there's a, gra a holographic Pikachu of this one. I really want that. Another Mysterious. And a Hatterene, or Hatteren, as you would say. Now, that is a very creepy-looking Pokemon. If you're too loud around it, you risk being torn apart by its claws on its tentacle. This Pokemon is also known as the Forest Witch. Now, what more of a Halloween creature could you ask for than a Hatterene, a witch that will tear you to pieces. That is absolutely dark for the Pokemon universe. And I'm actually really surprised that the fairy dark type, oh goodness, what is its name? The big ogre troll. I bear, I've only used it once the entire time Sword and Shield have been out. I honestly can't say that I remember what it's called, and I know it's going to kill me for not knowing. Okay, move it to the back. Do a quick flip. Another Hatena. Another Haunter. I would love this as a holographic. And another holographic Mewtwo. We're going to be getting a lot of these. I'm starting to see how easy it is to get all of these here. Let's do another. We're trying, I'm going to try and bust these out as quick as possible. So that way. Oh, you know what? We're going to do it that way. We're going to go. Ooh, that's new. Little clay looking pumpagoo. Pump, pumpagoo? Pump, pumpagoo? I like pumpagoo. We're going to go on pumpagoo from now on. All right. Another spinner rack. A murkrow. Now that's new. I love that. Great. He's in a graveyard. I love that. And another awesome holographic dark rye. That is fantastic. Hopefully I've got some a little bit of spooky music playing in the background to hopefully chime out this dadgum cricketot hanging out behind me. All right, we've got another Trevenant, another Dusclops, preferably one in much better condition, and another Ariados. So that's cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to make any, any decks with this particular card set, but 
I feel like maybe some of these Pokemon. Sorry, there's something going on outside here. Kind of creepy. Oh, come on, me. My back is absolutely killing me doing this. Another Miss Magius. Another Lampant. And another Nip, uh, nip Pit. Let's do a quick clean up here. And step on around the corner here and toss some of these bad boys out. All right. Actually, I'm going to grab this here bench and pop a squat. And it would appear that I dropped a card pack. Nope, I dropped an empty pack. I'm going to grab this bench and pop a squat because my back is killing me. Oh, that's good. That's good after a long, hard day at work. Be able to just sit down and enjoy. Apologize for the shaky tripod, Litwick, Poltegeist, and another Hatterene. Very spooky Hatterene. I'm going to move all of our cards here. Now, just so you know, this is about roughly 120 cards that you will receive from this set. If you buy a full pack. Okay, another... Chandelure, another Cubone. I would love a holographic Cubone or a holographic Marowak. I'm not sure if we've gotten them all, though. I know they said there's about 10 unique holographics per set, and I'm thinking we may have already gotten them. I'll have to do a quick look up on Cerebi and see if they've got the list of cards up yet. Another Pikachu, another Mistrevious, and another Darkrai. I think I will definitely be able to sell... Um, the full sets of these, though. I will have to double check. Like I said, get on Cerebi and make sure. Let me open this one off camera. Okay. Move that to the back. Zubat. Ghastly. And another Trevenant. If I'm able to make a full set... I will gladly do so. I know we've opened quite a few, and that's the first, like, uh, Murkrow that I had opened up on that was that particular one. All right, Miss Magius, a Hatina, and another Haunter. I don't think we're going to be getting that holographic Haunter, though. I do absolutely love the Haunter. But... So we've got our Hat Hatterene, Eridos, and another Sinistee. I think we're missing a Holographic Poltergeist, I think. Honestly, not 100% positive just yet. Phantom, Mistrevious, and Mewtwo. All right, so I'm going to do a quick scan through and make sure that we have gotten everything. And if we've gotten everything, there's really no point in opening these other packs here. I may sell these just to be able to uh, just to have them or uh, I don't know what I'll do but let me do a quick count through real quick and find out if I have all 10 of these special holographics. So it appears that we are only at nine of the special holographic cards so I'm not sure what the last holographic card is but I think we'll go ahead and open these up just in case make sure that we actually are able to get that 10th holographic here we've got actually found another one of these a Mimikyu that we had opened previously that had more damage done to it so I'm not sure if it's just because there's only three cards per pack and it's just easy for those to get damaged or what but it's a little bit of a bummer because not that I'll be getting these rated or anything but okay Cubone Pumpkaboo Duskwinar. Okay, I think we just got our last card. I did not know this was one of them. Devour Soul and Special Transfer. But I think we just got our 10th card. I'm very happy about that now. So, we do have, I'd say, uh, one, let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So, 
we opened that many out of 40. That was creepy. Hearing voices. So, I think we're good. I honestly don't feel the need. We really need to open the rest of these because you guys are already going to know mm -hmm. everything that's in there. Let me scoot my chair back. But showing you all off what we got here was our Dusquinar, our Gengar, our Gorgeist, our Mimikyu. I think this is the one that had a little bit of damage there. It may have been on the tip of the card. I'm not sure. Chandelure. Darkrai, Trevenant, Mismagius, Hatterene, and our Mewtwo. And that is all 10 of the major holographic cards. So that is absolutely fantastic. <sighs> My back is killing me standing up like this. So that was all but 12 of the card packs that we were able to get pretty much every single card in the set. If not every single card in the set, I believe there's up to 20 total cards in the set i did not count every one of them but from what i'm seeing online on cerebi.net and everything everything we have is everything that's in the set so we didn't even have to open all of the packs in order to get it we opened all but 12 just to get the full set that we have so that's what you guys can expect i picked my uh this pack of cards up and fortunately i had to get it off a of scalper because uh finding it in store was gonna be a nightmare but i had to pay 45 dollars plus shipping and handling just to get this pack here everything was worth it i'm debating on if i want to go ahead and sell the rest of the card packs online or if i want to do a giveaway on here um for our i don't know we only have seven subscribers so it's probably not going to be a giveaway just yet but what i'm thinking about doing is going ahead and probably just selling them online or uh if enough people want i may even open the rest of them just for uh just for whatever reason you guys want to see them open so the next video we'll be doing is we'll be opening up those sword and shield card packs um that i'm very looking forward to that one i bought uh 10 of those in total at a local fair that was going on i didn't expect to find them but a guy was selling them all for uh five for twenty dollars so that wasn't bad in my opinion um so i think that's just a little more expensive than what they are separately so i'm not sure this cricket here is really getting on my nerves anyway that was our first card pack opening video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's not necessarily the best environment. No cool flashy background or any cool flashing lights or anything that keeps everybody's attention. Unfortunately, we were, yes, we had to film in my garage in a dark rainy night, but I thought, eh, why not? It's a little spooky. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please subscribe if you want to see some more Pokemon content. And if you guys did enjoy the video, if you want to leave a like, it just... Not sure if it helps the algorithm. Nobody's really sure. Not 100% sure anyway. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, a like would be appreciated. And of course, a subscription if you guys want to see more Pokemon card packs, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield challenges, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which we will be doing. I have to do content for that. I can't not. It looks too good. I've, uh, I've been avoiding leaks the best I can. I'm not going to be one of those channels that covers leaks because... I don't want to spoil it for myself. I want to be able to play the game with people watching and be surprised and, and astounded and, oh my God, maybe even find our first shiny of the game on stream or something. That would be awesome. So, enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. I don't have an outro just yet. I haven't figured that out. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. And uh, keep on keeping on, Pokemon trainers. No, we're not going to stick with that one. Mm -mm. We'll figure it out. Bye.